Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, they did a pretty massive improvement uh, for this ball day card, right? Obviously being five foot nine, high, high work rates, left footed, four star skills, four star weak foot is an absolutely massive plus for this card. Because if we do remember, you know, this card doesn't have any sort of card, right? There's no card whatsoever. He's been fantastic this year. So obviously getting a card for him would be really, really cool. Barcelona Spanish links as well. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. This card on an anchor chemistry style, for the most part, is really well formatted. I don't see him being used as like a center mid or anything like that. Sure, technically speaking, you could give him uh, the gladiator chemistry style to boost his shooting, but his shooting is not in that area, right? So the main position that you will be using this card will be in the left back position, specifically if you're using him on a stay back while attacking overlap instruction because of the way the card is formatted, right? So he is five foot nine at a lean body type, right? So maybe he'll lack in physical from time to time, but this card on an anchor chemistry style being controlled is going to work with very good pace stats. Defensive stats is all going to be in a very good area as well. No sh real shooting capabilities uh, at all. Passing also going to be in a fantastic area with a four-star weak foot, 90 for composure. Dribbling also in a fantastic area too. So if you like to use overlap instruction on your fullbacks, using a card like this with his body type, with his height, his dribbling stats could be a very ideal situation for those quick, uh, quick little L1 touches. Uh, defensive stats, like I said, is going to be in a good area. And then for physical, we're going to improve the strength, aggression, but not no, not so much the jumping part of the card, which jumping is pretty important for people that use the corner kick tactic. Any player that has jumping in your defensive box is going to be ideal to have, but obviously um, it's chill, you know, it's chill. Guys, with this card, we're going to be using him in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Uh, again, specifically playing him at left back because I don't really see him being played in any way else. He'll be on stay back while attacking overlap, and we'll see how the card is, man. Hopefully he is a beast. Oh, Gabri. Ooh, nice dribbles. Yeah, so that's like a forced pass. But I wonder if he has a lengthy there if he comes out a little bit better there. Oh, Balde. Like that quick. Pass it off. There you go. Nice ball day. Okay, ball day. Trackback was good, though. Nice. Had to cover that area quickly. Oh, Chuck Wesley wasn't so outdated. Like, even during that time period, man. Just wasn't that great. Oh, Baldy again, though. Give me. Yes. Like first time, nice. Oh, I thought his AI was going to track that. That's why I let go of him there. Oh, Balde is actually nice. Oh, Balde. Oh, he's getting all the jam. Pass it back. Just kick it out. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. And Lewandowski. No, just pass it back. You're physical oriented, my G. I need you to at least do that. Dribble ace. There we go. Pass it 
Pass it back. Nice. Good job, Valde. I like that dribbling that he has, man. The dribbling is very solid. User. Three possession base, but kick off. Oh, is it mine? It might be mine. I was pausing right in the beginning, so I don't know. Oh, let's go. That uh that play there I feel like he could have gotten maybe. Nothing there either. Kick off. Good. Let's go, my boy. A delicious piece of skill. Oh, I should have forced a uh, driven past him instead. Going short. Is it going to be? I have no words, guys. I just I have no words. We just we just move. I have no words. Yeah, I like that his dribbling is good. Gameplay is rough and he's still doing a pretty decent job for me. Sorry, I was just having some fun with him there. My boy Balde again. Yeah, still has a pace for it. Let's go. Thank you. Gonna do a weak foot pass there too. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Nice. Did have the space there. Zinedine Zidane. Well, that's the turn of the kittens now. Nice. Magnetizes that too. Nice ball day. And strong play here. Griezmann. Chance here. Let's go. We do our best, man. We do our best, boys. And Grifo in possession. Luis Gustavo. Giovanni Reina. Well, they've lost position. Hold on. So you can see that sometimes he lacks in like the physical part of the game, right? So a throw in here. Falinha. It did look on for them, but not to be. Nicely done. Nice pass. Oh. Mbappe. And that was not expected. How funny would it be if I didn't get rewarded for that? Ha! Huh. Never mind, dude. Never mind, man. Never mind. Yeah, I just want to keep running there because I know that people are just 
fiending for that side. He's fast enough to get through here too. Big trouble moving the ball forward. What can they do from this position? Jardinho. Oh. That's bad, man. He has to get to that. Good. Will to win the ball. Oh my god, man. Oh my goodness gracious, it's so bad. Dude. Like, I can't, man. I can't. Guys, I'm sorry, bro. It's horrible, man. I can't, bro. Oh my... It's just, it's horrible, man. This game sucks. Oh, kick off, please. No. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new Alex Balde card. So, guys... Let's be honest, okay? Uh, with this card being improved as much as it has been, uh, anchor chemistry style, sentinel chemistry style, uh, the thing that you notice the most for the meta of the game is going to be in the physicality part of the card, right? So obviously if I give this card uh, the anchor chemistry style, boosts his pace, defense and physical, his physical is on the lower side, which you will feel because the thing about him, right, is that 86 strength, 89 for aggression, but he's a lean body type player, right? But there's a trade-off with that as well, because you also have a player that can do really well with his weak foot, that offers you some skill moves, like maybe like an L1 Croquetta in certain positions, right? Uh, his left stick dribbling is very responsive as well. That with the body type that he's working with, it kind of goes hand in hand with each other. Um, so for that type of stuff, you know, it's definitely very nice because... You know, let's just say, for instance, you had your left back on stay back while attacking overlap. He would be pretty decent on that instruction, right? But there were moments that if you are looking at the game from a pretty meta perspective, the physical does let him down from time to time, right? And I do believe that someone like Captavia is still a better choice to work with uh, because of the fact that he's a taller player, adds more physical. So you don't really feel that many moments where you're lacking too much in that area, right? So again, there is a trade-off, right? Because Captavia is also someone who is uh, obviously not as agile as someone like Alex Balde, right? So even if we go to this version of his card, you could see that he has 77 agility, 78 bounds. So your main goal with a card like this is to be a little bit more defensive oriented. But to be honest with you guys, even if I was trying to be more defensive oriented and I kept this card on stay back while attacking overlap, I would still prefer to use a card like this because of those extra physical capabilities, right? So it's not even necessarily that he has, you know, physical stats, but, you know, a card like this, you give him an anchor chemistry style, pace, physical defense. It's it, it's a it's a more consistent card to work with in that general area, right? Uh, when it comes to defensive capabilities, because you guys can see with some of the clips, sometimes his physical would let him down, right? But a lot of situations where... AI wise, he would do a pretty decent job of getting the ball for me. You know, he feels very agile. The build up play is really cool with him. So, um, you know, for the price that he's at for the massive upgrade that he's received, it's still a really cool card to get, especially if you are working with specific links like the Barcelona players, right? Rafinha, uh, Araujo. Why they didn't give Rafinha the five star skills, I don't know, but it is what it is, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.